Hi, welcome to Library Databases and Overview. Today we're going to be looking at some of the library's databases at St. Leo University. The Internet does have a lot of really good resources available. We're not saying you should never use the Internet, because there are some really good resources online. However, the majority of websites are not considered to be academic, and so we really strongly recommend that you use our databases. You can refine your search and locate academic resources suitable for writing a paper, a grant, a report, making a project, etc. Your professor expects you to use the library's databases. Your tuition helps to pay for these resources. But if you feel a little lost or intimidated, we are here to help. We don't want you to feel like they're not approachable. The databases are located on the library's homepage under Find an Article and also under Databases. We can help you select the right tool, except for the two largest databases. The rest of our databases are not meant to be a one-size-fits-all. We have a lot of specialized databases, including Westlaw, LexisNexis, CQ Global Researcher, Access Science, Science Direct and CQ Researcher, Standard & Poor's Net Advantage, SBRNet, EBSCO Business Source Complete, Lit Resource Center, JSTOR, and Oxford Art Online. We have three general databases. EBSCO is a very large database with a lot of subsets contained within it. The subset databases are topically focused, and you can go in EBSCO and just pick one or two databases inside of EBSCO to search for. ProQuist is a lot like EBSCO, slightly smaller, with a lot of overlap, but it also has a lot of unique titles and resources and subset databases that EBSCO does not contain. We highly recommend ProQuest as well. If you are a Florida resident or have a Florida Public Library card as a student at St. Leo University's main campus or one of our centers inside of Florida, you can use the Florida Electronic Library. Let's talk a little bit about planning for your search inside of a database. We suggest that you read the assignment carefully, ask your professor if you have any questions about the types of articles they're expecting you to locate, or the types of resources they want you to use, or the age of the resources. Some professors want everything to be less than five years old. Other professors might want a historical pr perspective and expect you to go back much further. What is the expected deliverable? Think carefully about what you are expected to produce, how long it might take you, and what types of resources you are expected to use then move on to the next step. Pick your database based on your topic. If you're not sure which database to select, you can call or email us for help. Then search using specific keyword terms or subject terms, unless your professor has asked you to locate a specific article or journal. To determine the database or other resources, do it based on the assignment. For example, if we were doing a paper for a religion class, we would probably search EBSCO's ATLA and ProQuest. We would also review the assigned resources or the LibGuide if the professor had mentioned it. And we could search our OCLC WorldCat catalog for circulating books and reference books such as the Sacra Pahina. Now I'm going to show you how to do a search the assigned topic for this example search is the parable of the mustard seed. From the library's homepage, I can click Find an Article, and I can select EBSCO, or I can go down to Find Info, and I can select Databases. I'll need to log in using my St. Leo University login ID and password. Now that I have logged into EBSCO, I'm going to select all EBSCO reference databases for today's demonstration. I'm going to select ATLA Catholic Periodical and Literature Index, ATLA Religion Database with ATLA Serials, 
an academic search complete. And then I'm going to click continue. Now I'm looking for some articles that deal with the parable of the mustard seed. The parable was given to his disciples by Jesus and is in the Bible in the New Testament. I think my first search terms are probably going to be to click on the advanced search and then I can put parable in the first search box, mustard seed, I think I'll put them in quotes because I want to keep them together, and I'm going to click on scholarly peer-reviewed journals, and then I'm going to click search. I have 22 results, which really isn't too bad. I see that some of them say PDF full text. That means those are actual scans of the print journal and they will have page numbers and look like an actual journal. Some of them don't list any way of getting full text. So I don't have full text for some of these resources. If I wanted to see only full text, I could click on my limit to full text. Now I have gotten rid of five articles. So now I have 17 articles. They go back to 1971. I'm not sure my professor wants me to go back to 1971. So I'm going to drag this forward to 2004. Now I have four results. I think number four looks pretty interesting. After all, I'm not interested in Jane Eyre. That would be literature and my classes or religion. So I don't want number three. I think I'm going to look at the Invasion of the Mustard Seed, a reading of Mark 5, 1 through 20, from the Journal for the Study of the New Testament. I'm going to click Add to my folder. I think right now that's the only one I want. So I'm going to click on my folder. I'm going to select, with using the checkbox, to tell it to email this article to me. Then I'm going to click Email. I'm going to pick my citation format, which I think I'll use APA. I think that's what the professor assigned. And then I'm going to email it to myself. Now I think I'll go ahead and go back to my home page, click on databases, and now I think I'm going to search inside of ProQuest. See if I get different results. Again, my search is for the parable of the mustard seed. I'm going to do the search exactly how I did it before. And then I'm going to click search. Remember, I want peer review in full text. I got 157 results. Don't really need to go back to 1949. So I'm going to take it up to 2010. So I'm going to take these two results and I'm going to email them to myself. That concludes our demonstration of ProQuest and EBSCO to search for the parable of the mustard seed.